All right, today I want to talk to you about this Deuter Air Contact Pro 60 plus 15. I purchased this backpack because I had previously owned a Deuter Trail 30 backpack that I used for, you know, climbing 14ers, day trips, things like that. But I wanted to get something that was larger, that could handle a heavier load, and I could do uh, multi-day trips with. Uh, I ended up selecting this Deuter Air Contact Pro 60 plus 15 because it had a couple of features that I really liked in the uh, Deuter Trail 30 backpack. One of those features is this front compartment that you can open up kind of like a suitcase. It's got a zippered section here uh, up front and you can just open this up just like you would like a suitcase access whatever you want on the inside here um, without having to go through the top of the backpack and you know sticking your hand down in and trying to find stuff in the bottom of the backpack and moving everything around um, i did like that it's kind of a luxury feature but um, it's just a nice feature to have it's just easy to find things you don't have to pull everything out to find one thing it's just easy access to the things that are in your backpack the other feature that i really like about this deuter backpack and one of the reasons why i purchased it was the way that deuter has this set up to ride on your back these this waist strap here seems very robust very comfortable and you know, one of the things I thought about when I purchased this backpack was, you know, according to industry standards, this pack backpack is very heavy. I think it's like six something pounds, which is nowhere close to what's going on with other ultralight backpacks right now. But the reason why I didn't let that detour me is I said, okay, well, what am I getting for that six pounds? And for me, having the most ultralight backpack is not always the best option because an ultralight backpack, um, I question whether it's going to ride on my back as well as this Deuter will. Is it going to distribute the weight in a way that really maximizes um, the weight versus effort? Um, with this Deuter backpack, they've got a system here where you can adjust um, the back piece to fit your size. So, you know, you can customize it to make it fit directly for you. Like I said, this waist strap is very robust. Uh, and just the way that this thing's going to ride on your back, I can tell that this thing, once I get this on and I, I, I get the, the weight really centered over my back and I'm going down the trail, it's really just gonna, gonna keep a heavy load where it needs to be and make it seem lighter. Now, you know, I think there is a place for a more ultralight backpack out there, but I question whether those ultralight backpacks are really going to be able to put the weight on your back and the center that load in a way that this one can. Um, I also purchased this backpack because I wanted a backpack that I could take on planes on trips, whether South America or Europe, um, take with me on a plane, have all of my gear in it, and just go stay at a hostel, uh, backpack, um, through, you know, both the city and in the country. Um, so, you know, if I need to go out and I need to do a couple weeks in the, in the forest, I know this backpack's going to do it. But if I'm lugging around all my gear in the city, I can fit it all in this backpack as well. Um, you know, when it says 60 plus 15, what they're talking about is there's an extra capacity. You know, you can keep this thing relatively small, but if you have extra stuff, that you need to carry, um, yeah, this opening lid gets much, much larger up here and you can make this a much larger uh, capacity backpack if you need to. Uh, Deuter does make a larger version of this Air Contact Pro. I think it's like a 75 plus 15, but in my opinion, that is probably excessive for most people. 
I would think that would only be a backpack that I would consider using if I was going on, you know, a multi-week journey that I had to carry an excessive amount of gear. Uh, for me, this 60 plus 15 um, has more than sufficient capacity for everything that I would need on any type of journey that I would go on. Above this, it would seem like I would be carrying specialized gear for some specialized occasion that would be beyond my capabilities. I, so this 60 plus 15 seems like it is very sufficient. Um, it's got pockets on the side here for like a water bottle, but it's got these weird straps that I'm not really sure how they work. You know, they might be some ingenious thing that I'll figure out later, but right now I'm looking at them and it doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. Um, the other thing is, is like there's a, there's a spot for a hydration bladder in the main compartment, but there's also, you can put a hydration bladder in either one of these um, side compartments. So it's very versatile in, in that sense. And, you know, there's straps everywhere on this backpack, it, almost excessive. Um, you know, down in this lower compartment, you could put your, your sleeping bag down here is what you typically put there. And then it's got additional straps here if you wanted to put like a, a, uh, a sleeping pad or a tent or something like that, you want to strap it down here, you could. But what I've found is this backpack's capacity is large enough that I can fit all of my my gear inside of it. I don't need to strap anything to the outside. Um, you know, even my sleeping pad, I could fit that inside of this main compartment, even though it's very large and bulky. Uh, I could fit my tent inside this main compartment, and I still have room to put my clothes and my cooking gear and different things like that, which is nice because you know, then it's all enclosed. If I'm going through like a very, a very heavily wooded area, I don't have to worry about, you know, knocking a tree with my, my gear sticking out. Um, you know, if it starts raining, it's got a rain included rain fly down here that I can just pull up over this backpack very quickly and have all of my gear completely co protected. Um, so for that reason, uh, I really, I really like this backpack for that reason. Um, I haven't taken this backpack out on the trail yet. I'm still kind of waiting for the right, right weather and, and getting a few more pieces of gear before I do that. But overall, my impression is that this is a very durable backpack. It weighs a little bit more uh, than maybe an ultralight backpack would, but the features and the durability and the way that this backpack is going to distribute the weight that you're carrying, um, in my opinion, would outweigh those few extra pounds that you're carrying. You have to make the right decision that's right for you, but for what I purchased this backpack for, I'm very happy with it, and um, you know, I'm excited to get out there and use it on the trail.